Last time on Dragon Ball. After the epic showdown between Son Goku and the evil offspring of Demon King Piccolo, the Z Fighters were once again left in peace. Shortly after the tournament, however, Son Goku and his fiance Chi Chi got married, and there was a huge ceremony with all their friends and family. During this time, Fortune Teller Baba decided to have a little sneak peek at what the future had to offer, and what she saw left the old woman in complete shock. What did Baba see? What challenges will our heroes face? Find out now. Hey guys, Omak here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing what would happen if Fortune Teller Baba warned Goku slash the Z Fighters. I came up with this idea while watching the episode of Dragon Ball which shows Goku and Chi Chi's wedding. You know what, I'll just show you the clip. But what future lies ahead for the newlyweds? The future? Well, it couldn't hurt to take a peek. For the further adventures of Goku and his friends, be sure to watch Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, what did Baba see? I mean, if she looked into the future, surely she would see the Saiyans coming to Earth, Frieza, Cell, heck, maybe, maybe even Majin Buu. Well, I guess it, it all depends on how far she looked. So let's begin, shall we? So I'm gonna say that Baba only briefly looked into the future, so she looked five years into the future. What she saw was the arrival of Raditz and Goku dying to kill Raditz. She wouldn't see as far as Goku going to King Kai's in other world or find out that Goku is a Saiyan and that this strange invader is in fact Goku's brother as I doubt her crystal ball can produce sound or her or however you would put it so she would only see the future not hear it also. Anyways our story begins the day after the big wedding and Baba goes to Goku and Chi Chi's new house in Mount Paozu to talk to Goku. Baba would ask if she could speak with Goku in private. Chi Chi would be kinda pissed that some old woman wants to talk in private with her brand new husband. But Baba would give Chi Chi the death stare of death. <laughs> and Chi Chi, out of fear of the small old woman on a floating ball thingy, would give up and let Goku go. Baba tells Goku that they need to go somewhere where nobody else can hear them. Baba says that what she's about to tell Goku is very important and must be kept a secret. The two head off into the mountains and when Baba is certain that no one else is around, she spills the tea. Goku is left in absolute disbelief. He dies in five years? By some guy with long hair and a broken sunglasses? This is by far the weirdest shit he's heard for a long time. Goku now knows that he mustn't slack on his training. Although it will anger his wife, he has to train. If he doesn't, everyone dies. Goku would thank Baba for the information, call Nimbus and head up towards Kami's lookout. He needs to ask Kami if there are any other ways Goku can get stronger. Meanwhile, Baba would go back to her palace and watch Netflix, or the amazing series made by yours truly, that is Dragon Ball XYZ. Self-promotion. <laughs> Anyways, when Goku arrives on Kami's lookout, he would run over towards Kami and Popo. Kami, already under understanding the situation, due to listening in on Goku and Baba's conversation, would offer Goku the chance to go back inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Goku would say that that's a great idea, but he then asks if he can bring someone in to train with him. Kami, having no real reason to say no, would say yes, but then asks Goku who he had in mind. At first, Goku would obviously consider people such as Krillin, Yamcha, Ten Shinhan, but then he thought of Piccolo, his current rival. That's it. Piccolo would be an excellent training partner. When Goku tells Kami that he wants to bring Piccolo with him, Kami would be ver uh, at first very confused, but after coming to the realization that Goku would get immensely stronger through training with the Demon King, he would then agree. But then he realized that Piccolo would also get stronger, 
and this worries the Guardian. Hopefully over the year, Goku could possibly make Piccolo a better person? Maybe. But they had no other option. If they wanted Goku to get stronger, it was their best shot. Kami would then telepathically message Piccolo, who is currently meditating. Kami would tell Piccolo to come up to the lookout. At first, Piccolo would be kinda pissed off at being woken up from his deep meditation, but after realising that he has nothing else to do, he shrugs his shoulders and flies up towards the lookout. What could that pissed son Goku possibly want from him? They're enemies for Christ's sake. When Piccolo arrives, he is greeted by Goku's signature Yo and a wave. Piccolo ignores this and goes to confront Kami. After Kami explains everything, Piccolo also wants to fight this strange person that's, sh that's scheduled to, f to arrive in five years. How dare they attempt to take over the, over the Earth? This plant is his, not some weird hedgehog man. Anyways, Piccolo would agree to train with his rival Goku. If it means that he could get stronger, maybe even strong enough to kill Goku, he would have to act all nice. And when the pest's guard is down, he will strike. It was the perfect plan, there was no fail. After Popo gets enough food and water for Goku and Piccolo, they both enter the hyperbolic time chamber for one year. Meanwhile, at Baba's palace, Baba decides to take another sneak peek into the future. She only meant to look a year or two into the future, but her ball malfunctions, and she sees it further into the future than, than she wanted to. What the old woman sees leaves her more speechless than, than before. She sees Goku with yellow spiky hair facing off against a very odd looking alien. And why is the earth erupting lava? Or is that even earth? Another planet? Mars? What? The ball then jumps another few years into the future. And we see Goku with long golden hair, for some reason. Fighting a weird pink child? As, or a very small person? What? Confused out of her mind, she turns off the ball and decides to try and get some sleep. It's probably just her eyes playing tricks on her. Or she's just very tired from watching Dragon Ball XYZ self-promotion. <laughs> the one day aka one year eventually passes and Goku and Piccolo exit the time chamber, stronger than ever. Kami and Popo are blown away at not, at not only how much the two have grown in strength, but it seems as if the two have developed a sort of friendship. Piccolo does not look as hostile and menacing towards Goku as he did previously, and Goku, he's just Goku, nothing's changed for him really. Goku would then ask Kami if there are any other ways that they could get, get stronger. Kami would say that there is a way they can get stronger, but this time their training would last more than a day. It would take at least a week to get to the place of training. Goku would then say that he didn't care how long it took, they had to get stronger. But Goku, said Kami, shouldn't you go and see your wife, that you married hardly even two days ago? We still have five years to train, according to Uru and Aibaba. Oh, yeah, says Goku. Uh, I kind of forgot about that. Kami face palms, seconds before Goku calls Nimbus, and flies home to see his almost forgotten wife Chi Chi. And that, my friends, is a good place to end today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe, as I'm trying to hit 1k by December, because there's a certain video that I have planned if we ever hit that huge milestone. Also, I'm sorry for the lack of, of uploads the past two weeks. The reason is that where I live, schools have reopened, sadly, and during lockdown, let's just say I didn't do much of the online work, and I have a lot to catch up on. So it's really difficult trying to find a balance of doing schoolwork and making YouTube videos. And don't worry, part 2 won't take nearly as long as this video did, as it's already scripted. Also, huge thanks to my friend Stevdes for his awesome voice acting at the beginning of the video. Definitely go check him out. He makes what ifs similar to mine. That's all from me for today. Thanks for watching as always. Bye for now. Cheers.